Spending an insane amount of hours editing your YouTube videos has always been the most boring part of content creation. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your editing process in CapCut with just a single click. My name is Mandy and Michael. If today is your first time of you seeing my videos, I make videos on AI tools. And if it's something of your interest, then consider subscribing to this channel to be part of our amazing community of subscribers. Okay, so CapCut has three versions, one for mobile which is for Android and iOS and we also have the desktop version which is for Windows and Mac and the last one is the browser version so sometime late last year CapCut released an AI tool that is purposely meant to automatically edit your videos so when this new feature was released even up to two months ago you could still find this feature in the updated version of the desktop and the mobile version until now it is no longer on the desktop and the mobile version so so before they took it out from the desktop and mobile version, once you launch the CapCut app, you will simply find this AI tool right here. But unfortunately, I don't know why they took out this feature from the desktop and the mobile version. So now, in order to use this AI tool to quickly edit your videos, you would have to use the browser version. So let me quickly take you through how to access the browser version. Before we start, kindly do me a little favor by giving this video a like. That's certainly your way of encouraging me to keep making videos of this kind. So you quickly head over to Google and type CapCut Browser Editor. Once it opens, you're going to click on this first option here and it's going to take you straight to the browser editor. One thing you quickly have to do is to sign in into the browser editor with your Gmail. Once you're able to sign in, this is how the interface of the browser editor looks like. And one thing you quickly notice about the browser editor, it's slightly different from the desktop and mobile versions, but certainly they do still have some similarities among them. So basically when you come to this side of the screen you get the option to create a new project so just come and click on create a new project and then you would have to choose the dimension of your video and since we are going to edit this particular video for youtube we would have to choose this 16 by 9 aspect ratio and if you are making the video for tiktok or youtube shorts or even instagram reels you can use this vertical video format which is 9 by 16 but for us we are going by this 16 by 9 aspect ratio so i just click on it mind you this is an online kind of edit if you are going to edit anything that is a bit secretive you probably wouldn't have to use this whatever edit you are doing will be saved in the service of CapCut online at this point you can just click on this plus button to upload the video or you can just drag and drop the video on it it's going to take some time to upload the video onto the server so you would have to wait a little while depending on the size of the video if the video is not really long it wouldn't take you so much time but if it's quite a lengthy video you probably would have to wait a bit longer so once your video is finished transcribing that is a way of converting your video into a playable format on the browser version you would have the video on the timeline as you see here the next thing you would have to do is to come to this side of the screen where you have the editing tools here so you just have to come to this transcript option and click on it but you would have to make sure the video is selected so just come and click on the video and make sure that it is selected once it's selected you just come back and click on this transcript option for the automatic editing to begin another way you can also use the transcribe based editing AI tool is to come and click on the video make sure the video is selected then you right click on it and come to this transcript based editing option okay so um, that's another way you can access this ai feature too so once you click on it you'd have to select the language of your choice so for the purpose of this video i'm just going ahead to select english language so i just click on it once you select it there's no much for you to do here the next thing you just have to do is to come and click on this transcribe option just click on it and then you wait for the transcribing process to complete so when the transcribing process is complete you realize that the dialogue of your video is going to be arranged nicely like this what the ai tool does is that it takes a listing to the entire video and it has provided a script for the video so to be able to use this feature to edit your video you just have to come to this side of your screen where the ai tool has already edited the video 
according to the script of your video. So when you come to these first numbers you see in these brackets, what it means is that from 0.01 seconds to 39.6 seconds has been silent. So let's try that by playing the video to see if it's really accurate. So I'll just bring the playhead to the beginning of the video and click on the space bar to play. Okay, so you can see the seconds is uh, moving from here and then um, from the first second to 39 seconds, it's just complete silent. And it's true, as you can see, there's nothing happening. I'm not actually saying anything. So I'll just come and click on this and then it will give me the option to delete. So if I just delete it, it, it goes. This particular dialogue is uh, actually not complete. So um, I think I had the better one here. So when you are not yet monetized, a lot of the times you ask yourself, how much do these YouTubers really make? So I think I like this particular, um, yes, I like this particular dialogue. So I just come and delete this space and also delete this. I just delete this. Okay, so I think I'll just come and delete the first one too. So I think I'm okay with this. So when you are not yet monetized, a lot of the times you ask yourself, how much do these YouTubers really make? So I think I'm okay with this particular dialogue. So I'll just go ahead and delete the other dialogue by just coming to the bottom. You see this delete button, then you delete it. And another way to delete um, a particular dialogue you don't want is you just select everything and hit delete okay so let me come this way let me start from the just select everything and hit delete and if you mistakenly deleted a, a particular section or a, a particular dialogue or a particular portion you you actually wanted to keep you just come and click on restore and it's going to come back but i i really wouldn't want to keep it so i'm just going to go ahead to click on delete so in order to get rid of the restore you just have to come and click away basically this particular um, feature is very good and you can really speed up your edits with this particular feature so for me when i'm shooting i repeat the same thing quite a number of times maybe two to three times so with this kind of ai tool um since it has already provided me with the scripts to all what I said in the video. I could just read through and see which particular dialogue that I was very fluent in. I also would want to mention to you an exciting feature that this browser version of CapCut has. With regards to this AI automatic editing stuff, when you come to this top corner here, you realize that they've written free and then just by it, they say identify filler words and speech gaps. So the filler words are the M, um, the A, uh, like, you know, those kind of um, words you usually add when you are making your deliveries. And speech gaps are more or less like silent or quiet moments that are more than 0.5 seconds. Okay, so um, when you just go ahead and click on this star icon here, okay, it's going to identify all the filler words. So you see, it has identified seven filler words found. Okay, so, and this can be removed in the video. So if I want to remove it, I'll just click on it. And then 32 speech gaps longer than 0.5 seconds. So if I want to remove the filler words, I'll just go ahead and click on it. So let's go ahead and see the filler words. So you see this, um, you know, those are filler words. So there are about 32 of them that it has uh, identified. Okay, so, and then um, the speech gaps too, that are longer than 0.5 seconds. Um, you see from here, you see zero point you see three seconds you see 1.8 seconds three seconds so these are just the speech gaps so the moment you click on remove it's going to take those um filler words all out and then the moment you click on um, remove for the speech gaps 
it's going to remove all the spaces or like all the quiet moments in your dialogue so once you click on it it will go ahead and delete all those okay and um another exciting feature this has is that you can as well ask the ai to to automatically delete all the repeated words and all those stuff in it but that one comes at the cost okay so that is not free you would have to uh, subscribe to its premium version before you'll be able to have access to this kind of feature so um basically that's what you should know but if you don't mind to manually remove the filler words and manual remove the repeated words you know you can go ahead with this um, free option but if you want the ai to to um, do everything for you without you having to manually remove them um you just go ahead and subscribe to the premium version and then you have this done for you and i mean it's it's just going to take you a single click once you subscribe to the premium version but you know um, if you want to uh, do it manually you would just have to you know go through the video and then uh, delete what you don't want and keep what you want another thing is you can as well add a text animation of any of your dialogue on your video if you are using the pro version so for instance if i want this text to appear exactly at the time i set that on screen once you highlight on the text aside the delete option here we are also going to see text template so once you click on it you would have the opportunity to select any font style of your choice and you click on it and it appears exactly at the time you see is that okay um the only downside i think um, i should mention is that you're not going to add any text to the video but you can delete and then also restore but you will not be able to add any text to the video that's because that particular dialogue you want to add was not recorded in the actual video so that cannot add up to the video so that's how come you will not be able to add any text or like add anything but you can delete and then restore so basically that is it about this feature in the CapCut browser version all right thank you for watching let me know what you really do think about this ai tool in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our weekly uploads see you in another video next week